Press and Marthy. And uh, today we're going to get a, a testimonial from Jeff Kelly in Illinois. And Jeff, I guess we'll start off with what's your name and where are you from? My name is Jeff Kelly and I'm from Walnut, Illinois, which is in northwest Illinois. Jeff, can you uh, tell me your business name and a little bit about your business? Our business name is Freimeyer Farms. We're third generation now farming. It's a grain farm, corn, soybeans, and sea corn. Excellent. Relative size of your operation? Well, you know, we own and operate 3,000 acres. You know, I would say a larger than average, but there's others that are larger. Oh, absolutely. All right. What water management problems did you have before you found OptiSurface? Well, you know, we relatively flat ground around here, and we had a lot of areas, water holes that when you got a lot of water, you just couldn't get rid of it. In the past, we would pile them up real good, and, and in a lot of spots put surface drains to drain them. And, you know, we, we'd find ourselves on many years in the spring either trying to farm through, if we were able to get through them, or otherwise we had to go around them and come back later. You know, these are holes that you look at every year, and they've been there forever. So what effect did that really have on your productivity? overall? You got a field that is ready to go except for a few areas and, and you got some rain coming so you go out there and, and do what you can do and move on and, and know you're either going to have to come back and sometimes you risk it and you may get through that wet spot or you may not. And now, you know, it's, it's a lot of satisfaction looking at the wet spot that I looked at forever and when I get done, it's gone forever. What methods were you using to combat the issues prior to OptiSurface? Do you have subsurface drainage, tile drainage on your place, and uh, were you using surface drains, things of that nature? Yeah, that's what we had. We had plenty of tile in there, surface drains, and some of them, you know, might be out scattered around the field that, as you know, they need to be taken care of and managed, and they do the job, but they're slow, and a lot of times when you have to check them, there might be a mature crop in the field, and you go out there and try to find them and clean them out, or, and sometimes it's kind of hard to even find them when you've got a mature crop out there. With surface, those holes are, like I said, they're gone forever, and, and you don't have to worry about it. All right, excellent. Well, kind of almost gets into the third question a little bit. What concerns did you have after, or concerns or problems did you have after you found surface, if any? Well, I didn't have a lot of concerns. I was kind of a skeptic, so, you know, I was using GPS to do my subsurface work, and I always kind of double-checked myself with a laser, so I did the same thing. When I completed my first job, I, you know, I was like, how good is this? You know, I, I'd be out there working the ground, and, and this is when I first start in mind. You get going, and everything's moving around, and, and then after a while, you start to see it take shape. You start to see that field lay down, and kind of see how it's going to work. Like I said, being a skeptic, I set up my laser and double-checked it, and it was all good. I was very pleased with it. I was concerned about the amount of dirt I might have to move. You know, there were <laughs> times starting out that I thought, oh, my God, I'm not going to have enough dirt, or I'm going to have too much dirt, or this isn't going to do it. But when I got done, it all balanced out. You know, it was pretty much dead on. Perfect. Uh, were there any issues that you didn't even think about? that you weren't really thinking about prior to OptiSurface, such as were there, you know, obviously what you saw, your obvious concerns at first were those large holes that we talked about in those large ground out areas. Were there any issues you didn't even think about that then presented themselves once you had uh, gotten into the OptiSurface side? I would say uh, one of the pleasant surprises, you know, everybody knows their big problem areas and that have to be taken care of. But once I got out there and watching that blade work, watching the field lay down, as I said, how many small problems I had that I wasn't even aware of that were fixed at the same time. That was pretty pleasant to see. And those small problem areas, they probably combined to make just as much of a problem cumulatively as what you were seeing out of some of your bigger problem areas. Am I correct in that? Well, yeah, I'd say that's true. I, you know, you don't realize that you're getting dinged on these little areas. They're not the ones that stick in your head. 
and and you go out there and you see you're fixing these small problems at the same time it was great. And did we deliver on these concerns that you had? Yeah, I mean, it was really nice to go out there and watch the system work. And, you know, it was a learning curve. You know, once I got used to it, you could just see it working. Yeah, I, I was very happy. What were you most impressed with whenever you started working with OptiSurface? Well, my first field I did, it was a 170-acre field. It had some big problems in it, and I found out later a lot of small ones. And I completed it. And I would go out there actually when it was raining even and, and look around and see which way the water is going. But we had an instance that we had a big 8-inch rain and the ground was barren at the time and it was early spring. I'm a pilot so I got in my plane and I flew up in the morning and took some pictures of our entire area. And the sun was gleaming off of all this water in our area and it was, as far as you could see, ponds in everybody's fields. So I took some pictures, and when I got back to my computer, I downloaded them, and I was able to zoom in on that field I had completed. And there wasn't one pond or puddle standing in that field, and I knew I was on the right track. Uh, would it be a fair statement to say that most everybody that was around you or on those surrounding fields all have tile drainage implemented? I would say to some degree, yes, you know, for sure. A lot of similar dirt around here, a lot of flat ground a lot of pockets that don't drain. And the particular field that we're discussing, we actually have the picture of from your aerial photo. That particular field also had the tile drainage uh, prior to you doing the surface work. Is that correct? Yes. I pattern tiled that field, that 30-foot pattern tile, uh, which works great, but it's kind of bulletproof now. Uh, it's irrigated, it's pattern tiled, and now it's been worked with opti surface. A bulletproof is a big word, but Everything I've worked so far, I haven't had to replant anything. That's pretty cool. I haven't had to replant one acre on the fields I've done so far. Well, that, that kind of got into it right there. That was uh, going to be my next question, which are what are some of the outcomes and benefits that were most valuable to you? I think you just stated it right there. Is it everything you have worked thus far, hey, you haven't had to do one replant on it? That's, no. Uh, no. I'd say that's pretty I, big. <laughs> yeah, and I tell you, uh, surface drains were what you needed. You know, it was your only option. I've got probably half of my acres done to this point, and I've gotten rid of literally dozens of surface drains that are just gone. And we don't have to farm around them. We don't have to maintain them. They're history. That's what we're trying to do. It's what we're trying to accomplish, Jeff. So that's very good. Well, the last question, bud. How can we improve our service to you, bud, other than making it free, which obviously we're not going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So what, what can we do to be better, sir? I'm very happy. I struggled with the mobile app. I brought that to your attention. I know you're working on that. That's a great tool when I can use that. Other than that, you know, you guys have been nothing but a pleasure to work with. The designs, you know, nobody knows their own fields better than the farmer. So it's, it's great to be able to make my changes on it and get it back to OptiSurface. And that way it turns out right. And you guys make the changes, and, then, and it all works. Well, Jeff, from Graham, Ed, and myself, we appreciate your business. Thank you for taking the time to give us this testimonial today, and I look forward to working with you in the future. Same here. Thank you. Thanks, bud. Have a good day. You too.